Good morning, people. I look rough. Let me just tell y'all. I just send the kids off to school. I'm making some coffee so it can brighten up my face. And we're gonna take the doggies out to go potty. Go potty? So I kinda just wanna sit out here and drink some coffee. So I'm making some coffee. I'll wait for it to get ready. Mo wants to say hi. You wanna say hi, Mo? Good boy. Minnie wants to say hi too. You wanna say hi, Minnie? No, Minnie. So for today, guys, my suegra is gonna teach me how to make mole. Yes, mole. I was never a big fan of mole because I don't like the taste of chocolate in chicken. But the way my suegra makes it is so good. Yes, do Oh, that's dark. Fair net. I need all the energy I can get. Como que no me ven. Me ven. No sé. Go out and go party, Mimi, por favor. Go. How is y'all's morning going? How's the online classes? Look rough. Sheesh. Don't worry. We're gonna put on some makeup. Cause girl. Mo, go potty. Guys, my eyebrows too, they're weird. I get no hair. Like you would think you'd grow hair. But my eyebrows, they're a little bit gray. I'm not feeling it. Let me set you all right here. Dang. Guys, I slouch all the time. I've noticed. I need to, like, hook it up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, goodness. I'm done with my car. Why does it look so dark? I'm not feeling it. Hold on. There we go. Switch back around. Oh, snap, I'm messing it up. Hold on. There we go. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Let me put y'all right in the middle. Y'all can be my mirror. Yeah, y'all can be my mirror. My suegra doesn't want me to film at her house. See, that's the thing with starting YouTube. They don't want to be in camera. Like, am I weird? Because I'm the type of person that doesn't really care what people think. And I'm going to say what I have to say. And I'm not ashamed. I feel like people will judge you for like maybe a day or two and then your old news you know they move on we're just people at the end of the day we're all the same we're all just people and just trying to make a living you know what i'm saying so yeah guys i'm gonna finish getting ready if i don't film me making mole with my suegra which is probably not gonna happen because she's not gonna want to be on camera I'll bring some home so y'all can see. But I'll try and film it low key. Hey guys, I'm back from my suegra's house. We made mole. I did not film it just because she didn't want to. And you gotta listen to your suegra, right? So she sent me a little pot of leftovers and I have some rice in there. And there's the mole. That's still hot. She gave me some fabuloso and some cleaning towels. You guys got to have a good relationship with the suegra. So I'm in my bathroom and I need to clean out my closet. My shoes are just thrown all over the place. It's redonkulous. 
It is a huge mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you on my shoe collection and I'm gonna organize while we're at it. So these are basically all my high heels that I have. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with these. These high heels are very, very special to me. They are super, super old. These are the very first heels my husband ever bought me. He took me to San Antonio and he took me to a shoe place. I think it was called Baker's Shoes or Aldo Shoes. I'm not really sure. And he bought me these. He spent his hard earned money just to buy me some shoes. Okay, so let's go with points. These are all my pointy shoes here. I'm gonna set y'all down right here. Maybe I should try these on for you guys. What do y'all think? Let me try them on. Hold on. Okay, so we've got our nude looking shoes. They fit me a little bit big. That's because when you get weight loss surgery, your feet shrink. These are kind of like, oh, I, I think they're a size seven. No, they're a six and a half. Can y'all see that? There you go. They're a six and a half, so I think I need like a six. But yeah, these are my nude shoes. These are my mermaid shoes. They've got like little scales on them. They're super, super cute. I got these at a boutique in Eagle Pass. But yeah, um, they're super, super cute. Ooh. And these are kind of like a light blue, baby blue shoe. They're also super, super cute. And I got them at the same boutique where I got the mermaid looking shoes. And honestly, guys, I've never worn them. But yep. These are my shiny, pointy black shoes. They're kind of like my favorites, actually. Super, super cute. I got them actually in the same boutique. Okay, now these shoes are, I'm going to go to court and take you for all you've got shoes. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, they're kind of like, I'm a working woman kind of shoe. You know what I mean? Super, super cute. I got these at Bells. Okay, these shoes, I got them at Kohl's. And the reason why I bought them is because I think they look kind of vintage. They're unique. They totally look kind of different. Kind of like old vintage style. Super, super cute though. Okay, these are Jessica Simpson shoes. They are the most uncomfortable shoes I own. I never used to wear pointy shoes. I always used to wear round shoes. And so I absolutely loved these shoes. I put them on and they hurt so, so much. Like even if I wear these with like padding or anything like that, they still hurt so much. I'm like dying the whole night. So Jessica Simpson, very uncomfortable shoes. This is just your basic black shoe. It's not pointy, but it's not round. So it's kind of like both at the same time. Notice all my shoes are kind of black. It's because I wear black mostly all the time. The first pair of shoes my husband ever bought me. We were around 17, 18 years old. They're super, super old and super sophisticated. These shoes are more for the autumn. They are cow hair. I think they're cow hair, I want to say. Yeah, they were super, super expensive. They have little pelitos. Cow hide, cow hair, I don't know what, what to call it. I don't know. But, yeah. They were super, super expensive. I got them at Dillard's. I'm not a big fan of open toe shoes. I don't know why. I just feel like my feet want to be warm and I feel like the air gets in here. So I'm definitely not a fan of open toed shoes. These are the only red shoes I own. I did not tie them just because 
It takes forever. They have a gold design all the way around. They're super, super old. But I don't like to throw my shoes away or give them away. I just like to keep them. Okay, now I remember exactly when I bought these. I bought these with my sister-in-law, Rosie. Rosie, hey girl. I don't know if you're watching my channel, but remember we bought the exact same pair of shoes. Okay, and then I got these kind of like wedges. I think these are more for the summer. They're more for like beachy kind of vibes. I wear this like when we go to Corpus on vacation and stuff like that. I think these are super, super cute for the beach. Now, I have not worn these. My mom just gave them to me. She said they were a little bit too high for her. And so I went ahead and took them with me. But they're super, super cute. I wear these also in the summer for sure. Guys, these shoes used to be super clean and now they look like so dirty. But I bought these at Payless actually. And you know what, to be honest, these Payless shoes are like the most comfortable shoes I own. They've got like fluffy stuff in there that doesn't even hurt when you like, like you can feel the cushion when you step on these shoes. I wish, and you know, it's Payless, so you expect it to be cheaper, but some of these higher end shoes, like the Jessica Simpson ones, they don't have any padding. And I bought these at Payless and they're full of cushion. So I don't know guys. My mom also gave me these when she gave me her wedges, so I have not worn these, but they're super cute. They also, they kind of look like you could wear them for the fall, you know, especially in Texas, because in the fall, it's not really fall. It's kind of like still summer, but like eventually you get cold fronts, so summer, but fall, I don't know. Okay, and these are my super, super glittery shoes. I would wear these when I want to be the center of attention and I just want to look super, super cute and dance the night away. Woo! Okay, and I have these sandals. These sandals are also more for the summer, you know? But they're super comfortable and super cute. I got these at Kohl's. And yeah. I got these shoes at Ross. They're not strapped in, so if they look big, that's why. My heel is just kind of thrown up there. But yeah, they're super cute. Okay, so these shoes I actually bought when I had my second daughter. Um, throughout my pregnancies, I only wore flats just because I didn't want to fall. When I gave birth and you know, I was done with being pregnant and all that. These were the very first shoes I bought. They are purple glitterish, very, very look at me kind of shoe. And I've never worn them. They kind of have like a little point going on. And yeah, I've never, never worn them. And these are my I'm a gold goddess, don't fuck with me kind of shoes. Damn. Never worn them. I've only worn them like once maybe, but yeah, they're just so high for me guys. Honestly, I'm a three incher, two incher kind of a heel kind of person. If I'm gonna wear these high, high shoes, it's gonna be out to dinner on a date and then go home and take them off. That's basically it. Okay, these are my, I wanna look sexy, but I have to walk a lot shoes. So they have a very, very small heel. They're like a, what, two inch heel maybe? So yeah, I wear these when I'm just gonna walk everywhere and I wanna be comfortable, but I also wanna look super, super cute. Okay, and these are my last ones. They are kind of like these gold strap-ons, except these gold ones have like a four inch heel and these have like a what? two inch heel so they're super super comfortable they're not strapped in so yeah but they're super super comfortable I could wear these out to go shopping to go to get groceries anything like that they're super super cute these are my booties my Indian booties for winter 
I think they're super stylish and I absolutely love them. These are my sexy mama booties. They're not knee high, but they're long enough. I don't know who they're from, but I bought them at Bell's and they're super, super cute and sexy. These are just normal plain winter booties. I got them at JCPenney. Their brand Arizona and they were like 25 bucks. So I got like these and a black pair Here's the black pair They're also Arizona. They were like 25 bucks at JC Penney's These are also winter booties. They've got like a gold Glitter to them and they were their Arizona booties and I also got them at JC Penney Now these are Ugg booties my mom gave them to me. They're black. They're super comfy. I'm not gonna spend a hundred bucks when I can go get the ones from JCPenney for 25 bucks. You know what I mean? But they were free. My mom gave them to me. So hey, if they're free, bring it on. And these are my black boots. I mainly use these to ride on the Harley. We're big riders, so these are mainly just for the Harley. These are my um, sexy booties for the winter. I got these at Dillard's when I lived. Nah, no. I got these at Ross, I remember. Yeah, they still have the tag on there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It says, they were like 60 bucks, I think. These are my um, cool booties. I wear these when I want to be like a punk rocker kind of girl. Although, fun fact, I got these at the little girl section. And these are my waterproof booties. There's a name for these. What are they called? Duck boots, I think. I'm not sure. But I bought these at Academy. I bought these to ride when it's like going to rain and stuff like that. And water won't get in. If I really need some waterproof booties, I got my big old booties that I bought at Academy. These were the very first pair of boots my husband ever bought me. I can't throw them away. They're a size six and they are Ariats. Guys, these boots have a story. Andamos pachangueando super hard que se me zafó el zapato. Mira nomás. Mira. And I don't know if I can fix it or what, so I kind of don't want to throw them away. Maybe I can take them to Piedras and get them fixed. Who knows? All right, so that was my shoe collection. Um, I have more sandals and stuff like that, but I didn't want to show y'all because it's going to be the winter time. So yeah, let me go ahead and put all these shoes away. Excuse me, and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm pretty tired now, so I think I'm going to call it a day. Thank you all for watching my channel. We'll see you all on the next one.